Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the SVS 3000, those amazing in-wall subwoofers. If you can recall, SVS did send this out to me about a couple of months ago, about six months ago, and I have had a pair of them in the subwoofer. I do have a previous video that I would link in the description that shows the unboxing of the SVS Inwall 3000 subwoofer. So go show that video some love if you haven't seen it. You will be able to get a proper description of what the subwoofers look like and I'll go over, you know, primarily the specs of those things you do when you watch an unboxing video. Now I know that when it comes to in-wall speakers in general, there's a lot of back and forth arguments and what type of place they have in the home theater space and if you can actually get really great sounds from in-wall speakers. And I do have an in-wall home theater set up entirely in-wall and I can tell you that they can really sound really, really good. Now when it comes to subwoofers, I know that is also a different conversation, a different ball game. But I would tell you that SVS has managed to create something that is really, really great, something that is really different from what is already out there on the market. So I would say in my home theater space, right, the SVS 3000 in-wall subwoofer is not necessarily designed or put in my home theater to replace or to compete with standard in-room subwoofers that I have. I do have a pair of the PB2000 Pros also from SVS in my home theater. So I would say that it is ideal for anyone who is looking to enhance their audio experience with deep impactful bass while maintaining a clean and uncluttered living space. Some of those subwoofers can be really, really big and let's not mention any names. But you know, there are a couple of places, a couple of reasons. If you have already used up all the available floor space, with some of the big in-room subwoofers and you're looking for additional bass, that is one place where an in-wall subwoofer like this will come in. If you are not able to get past the WAF factor, right, which a lot of us deal with in the home theater space, if you have a significant order, this is a place where you can seamlessly just put one of those or two of those in-wall subwoofers into your living space and get those grills painted and they just, blend seamlessly without even you knowing that they are there. So let's talk about the specs. The SVS 3000 in-wall subwoofer is a dual 9-inch subwoofer, sealed subwoofer box that installs in any standard 2x4 framing and is powered by an 800 watt, 2500 watt peak sledge rack mount amplifier. It has an active front firing dual 9-inch driver the amplifier is 800 watts RMS and 2500 watts peak. The frequency response from SVS is around 22 to 250 hertz, plus or minus 3 dB. The dimension is about 25 inch in height and about 12 inch wide, so it's going to fit into your standard 2x4 framing. I have the subwoofer installed as a dual configuration with a single rack mount amplifier. But it is important to note that this configuration will cut the amp power in half from around 800 to 400 watts. While you can get a single subwoofer configuration to get the entire 800 watts, you can decide later on to add a second subwoofer. So basically, if you know that you want two of the subwoofers, then you would either have to pay for two separate single subwoofers that will come with individual rack mounts, or you would go with the dual composition that has the 800 watts, but will get split down to 400 watts. So basically, SVS will need to set this at the factory for you if you want the dual subwoofer with the single amplifier. Now the SVS 3000s are very simple and easy to install in an existing room or brand new construction. Installing the subwoofer can be accomplished either through the dog leg mounting that is on the subwoofer or you can do it as a direct to stored screw mount. It actually comes with mounting screw points on the subwoofer itself so you can directly install them and drill them to your stored. Additionally, pre-construction kits, mounting templates, and setup guides are provided by SVS 
for added convenience during installation. So I have both subwoofers installed in the rear of my home theater with one of the subwoofers acting almost as a near field subwoofer. I have it positioned directly behind one of the sitting positions. The design of the subwoofers mean that it can be installed either vertically or horizontally depending on the space you have or the design you're going for. You can install it under your home theater chair as a bass shaker if you want. I think I heard SES mention on one of their programs that you can actually do that. Or you can install these behind your projector screen. I, I probably won't do that. I, I actually had thought about it, but I decided that there might be a lot of vibration just because of how hard the subwoofers heat and I decided not to use them behind my screen. But I think it's possible. I have seen actually a picture where the subwoofers were used behind the screen. It was almost like a wall of SVS in wall 3000s. It was amazing to see, but I believe for you to do that, you would probably have to brace and build that front stage properly. The subwoofer has a detachable magnetic grille, which is acoustically transparent and paintable, allowing for seamless integration into any home theater environment. It provides both an aesthetic appeal and a functional versatility, meaning that you can paint it just to adapt and fit into any space that you have. The in-wall design allows for discrete installation while still delivering the high quality base that SES is known for. Over the last six months, I've been really, really impressed with them. And I know there's a lot of hesitations, right? When you get an in-wall subwoofers like this, the 3000 in-wall pair of active nine inch drivers are optimized for maximum acoustic output and thermal efficiency. Um, from a compact enclosure through to, you know, what I would say is SES quality and design. Now let's talk about the amplifier. It uses the Sledge STA 800 D2C amplifier that is drawn from SES flagship, the SES 16 Ultra subwoofer. And like we talked about, it does have that 800 watts RMS for a single subwoofer. I think it's, it's important that I repeat that and then, you know, it breaks down to 400 watts if you are getting the dual setup. This amplifier delivers on-demand current with precise control to optimize the potential of the dual 9-inch drivers. All this performance is packaged in a convenient 2U rack mount amplifier, ensuring easy installation. The amplifier retains the core features of the 3000 series subwoofers from SES. It is housed in a rack mount configuration and equipped with DSP control. It offers precise adjustment for optimized performance. Seamless integration with the SVS app is a great thing. It's something that I love. While comprehensive mounting hardware is provided for easy installation in your rack setup. So SVS basically gives you the entire package, which is great. Now, while this subwoofer is primarily available through authorized SVS dealers to ensure proper professional installation for those of us who don't like to do drywall work, you know, you can directly purchase the in-wall 3000s from Crutchfield and that way it allows you to be able to go the DIY route yourself. Now it's, you know, obviously that comes with a lot of work. You got to be sure where you want to install the subwoofers because once you cut up your drywall and you determine that's not a proper location, you're going to have to do some drywall work to move it around. The amplifier uses a 50 MHz analog device DSP that is normally reserved for high-end separate audio component. This allows it to deliver control and custom response call optimized for real-world output and properly tuned room gain. DSP plays a major role in making the 3000 in-wall subwoofer sound far bigger than its enclosure given its low profile. So like other SVS models, the 3000 in-wall subwoofer comes equipped with the SVS subwoofer control smartphone app. This app provides the most convenient means to adjust volume, access various DSP function, and create custom preset tuning profiles that can be tailored for movies, gaming, and many more. You can fine tune crossover frequency, adjust parametric EQ, room gain, and more all from the comfort of your favorite seat. Now let's talk about the pricing. 
in all subwoofers, especially high quality models like this, can be expensive to purchase and install compared to standalone subwoofers, especially if you're not into DIY. The single subwoofer system is priced at $1,999, so basically $2,000. And the dual subwoofer system is priced at $2,999, so basically $3,000. Now you have to keep in mind the cost of professional installation, wiring, and wall modifications if you decide to go this route. So that's also additional costs when it comes to your budgeting for this. I think this is one area where there might be hold back for those who want to cleanly build in-wall subwoofers like the in-wall 3000s. They're not cheap. 3000 for a pair of them, yes, that, they're not cheap, but I think that what they are designed for, you know, if it helps you solve that particular problem, then yes, go for it. So if you are enjoying the video so far, please hit that subscribe button and join our growing community as we continue on our way to 1000 subscribers. So let's put this subwoofer to work with a few demo tracks. All the demos will be played back from the Our Evolution Player One. I will be using the best audio option available. We are running all of this with the Antem AVM70 processor and my PV2000 Pro subwoofer is a turned off, so everything will be playing strictly from the 3000 in wall subwoofers. <laughs> The 3000 in wall subwoofers are no slouch and can help supplement your need for bass or be the primary subwoofers for your home theater space if space looks at what you're going for. In my setup, the subwoofers supplement my very well long serving PB2000 Pro subwoofers and have blended seamlessly post calibration. So this is my review of the SVS 3000 in wall subwoofers. I believe strongly that they have a place in the home theater space, be it in your living room, dedicated room, in the gym. I have tried them for the last six months. They are here to stay. They're not going anywhere. And I probably won't be moving them around anytime soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.